hi my loves welcome back to the stars cartel channel if you don't know i am star the message i received is he won't be with us soon okay um the scripture comes from proverbs 18 and 14 the human spirit can endure in sickness but a crushed spirit who can bear the heart of a discerning of the discerning acquires knowledge for the ears of the wise to seek it out a gift opens the way and ushers the giver into the presence of the great in a lawsuit the first to speak seems right until someone comes forward and cross examines casting the lot settles disputes and keeping strong opponents apart a brother wronged is more unyielding than a fortified city disputes are like the barred gates of a citadel Hi, my love. So this is a message about someone that got into some kind of argument, someone that got into um, like something that was really serious and really intense. And, you know, the interesting thing about this message, I got it like almost a month ago. And when I heard it, I was terrified of it. And, you know, God has kind of been on my neck like you need to release that, you need to release that, you need to release that. So, you know, this message is a warning, okay? Be careful of your mouth for somebody. Your mouth can, like I hear guys say, write a check that you don't want to cash. Like, you got to be careful of the things that you say and who you say it to. Because um, somebody has somebody that is an enemy or per se or is some kind of situation like that where you're both um, going back and forth with each other and one person is telling one story the other person is telling another story and you know just like the scripture says the heart of the discerning acquires knowledge for the ears of the wise to seek out so whomever is judging this situation is very wise and god is basically saying use your words wisely when you are um coming forth to whomever this person is to receive your justice or your judgment because if you word things out of emotion it could cause you to be in some kind of trouble or some kind of situation like let's say it's somebody that they keep telling someone that you did something to them or that you did this you did that if you come to this person with animosity about it then they are going to respond to you with animosity however if you come to this person and you tell them exactly what happened tell them you didn't re mean any kind of harm you weren't trying to do anything wrong you explain what really happened in the situation nine out of ten this person already knows the person that came to you like that came to them saying that they needed them to defend them if you open your mouth and say yo in reality they don't need nobody to defend them i'm not trying to cause them any harm i just like you know what i'm saying like it's kind of like you just need to keep it 100 like that's what god is saying just keep it 100 with this person because in reality it's not a situation where this person hates you or they are deliberately looking for a reason to cause you harm they're being told something that's not true and you have to step up and say that is not true tell your side of the story and it will um defuse the situation from the fruit of, from the fruit of their mouth this is um 18 and 20 from the fruit of their mouth a person's stomach is filled with the harvest of their lips they are satisfied this is about somebody who is lying who is conniving who is manipulating a situation to have a certain turnout and um for whomever this is for god is saying that you have to get ahead of them and it's not get ahead of them as in you're pushing them out the way and you're running and you're rushing to go and talk to this person for first but get ahead of them as in like go and tell them yo okay this happened this is what's going on um and that's that you know what i'm saying it's, it'll be different like sometimes when we get into it with people or sometimes we're not really into it with somebody like you know we just i'm trying to think of a way that i could say this like <laughs> explain a situation like okay let's say let's say somebody um 
uh, how do I say it? It's just like a situation to where like it's basically on your part it's more so a misunderstanding, but on this person's part, that person that's coming against you, they are deliberately coming against you and they are deliberately trying to twist everything. Like let's say you are upset that um a friend of yours did something that you didn't like or you're upset like maybe they ate all your your pasta or something like that and in the midst of you being upset you may say some things that you don't mean and this person overhears you and they go and you know tell them oh well they said this 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 and then that they and you know and they kind of make it bigger than what it is versus you just going to them directly and saying yo you ate my pasta and it really pissed me off and it's like i just feel like god is saying you need to watch your mouth because your mouth can cause things to get worse than what it is and it could be something you know so simple so like it's it's not even something that is big but in a case of like in this situation there is somebody that is kind of like i'm being reminded of the movie uh Medea goes to jail when one of the lawyers was kind of like adding extra charges on top of people's cases for them to go to jail for a longer amount of time like that's what god is saying like this person is just sitting and they're waiting and they're listening and they're like you know writing it down like okay they said this they said this they said this and then they add in little stuff on top of it and they're doing it in such a way that it will make this person be angrier about something that typically they wouldn't even be mad about like, it's really something that has nothing to do with them. They could care less. Um, whatever it is this person is mad at you about, 9 out of 10, they've been told them. They've been trying to get them to come at you about this, but they don't care. So now they're trying to find other little things to add to it so that it will entice this person to get at you. And God is basically saying, use your mind. Use your head and not your emotions yeah just be careful okay be careful what you say and yeah that's real that's real and i can say i can understand this because me um i know i myself can sometimes get mad and you know i get mad and start to get frustrated but in time i have learned that it's not smart for me to just go off or you know like start um attacking someone or it's just um how do you say it like like just be ruthless with my mouth you know and i know all of me it's like all of me will get mad y'all and just read 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 okay we not just throwing shade we throwing the whole tree type reads but at the same time you know when you start doing stuff like that, especially to somebody that don't even deserve it, and then on top of it, somebody that I feel like this is for somebody that's maybe a friend of yours, or it could actually be somebody that you don't have nothing to do with, and and y'all just know of each other. But regardless, God is saying like, be careful, like don't um don't poke the bear, like don't don't make it worse than what it is. You know what I'm saying? Um. When someone, whoever this person is that you're kind of into it with, if they come to you and they're like trying to entice you into getting into a talking match or uh, going back and forth with you about this person, going back and forth. And it may not be them specifically going back and forth with you about this person, but it could be something just as simple as I remember I had this friend, me and her would get into it and she started telling me about somebody else sleeping with one of my exes and you know it just i was already mad as is so it kind of made me like you know say well that's nasty okay and I, regardless if she took it back to them or not i really don't know and i kind of don't care but the point of the matter is that was something that didn't have nothing to do with them but she threw them in there and because i was already mad and then she added something to make me even madder even though it wasn't that I was mad, but I was just like, okay, uh, okay. But, you know, how do I say it? Like, don't make it worse than what it is. You know, don't allow your emotions to take over. Um, try to be as calm as you can. Try to be as relaxed as you can. Try to allow this situation to um, simmer down versus 
um, allow emotions to rise because whoever this person is that this person is running back to talking about you to this person is somebody that's not to be played with and that's the message thank you guys for watching be sure to like share and subscribe